Habitat Stories, Laura Manning, Homeless to Homeowner. Laura Manning joined the United States Army in 2005. Initially stationed at Fort Lewis in Washington, she served our country for five years. Laura loved being in the Army and found her calling while serving as an MP. Um, all growing up, I wanted to kind of be a cop. Uh -huh. And I was actually one while I was in the military. And the rules there were kind of different because if you were dealing with a juvenile, you had to have a special agent come and talk with them. You could not do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I actually got to do a mini internship with that group to where I was able to learn. Mm -hmm. And just that they're still developing. Mm -hmm. So their mindset, you can talk with them and they're not set in their ways. Right. So being able to help them see that they can change and that they can do whatever they want mm -hmm. with their life. It's just something that's always interested me. Her final mission was deployment with the team to Iraq for 15 months where they trained the Iraqi police. Laura's contract was over and she had a new son, Aiden. Laura wanted to be in his life so she made the difficult decision to leave the Army in 2010. Laura grew up in North Texas and graduated from Plano Senior High School. She always wanted to return home, so in 2012, she decided to move back to Texas. Laura found an apartment in Denton where she was able to make ends meet for a while, but after several months of rent increases, the apartment price became ridiculous, so she moved to an apartment in Plano. And although this move was quite a disruption to her family, it was financially necessary. During this time, Laura also pursued her calling to serve by enrolling in college classes online. She studied at Purdue University Global, working towards her Bachelor's of Science degree in criminal justice with a specialty in juvenile justice. She hoped her education would eventually help provide a more stable life for her children. In the short term, however, it meant that in addition to being a single parent, Laura was also a full-time student. A major part of Laura's dream was also owning her own home for her family. Family is Laura's priority. She loves her kids dearly. Lauren's son, Aiden, now a fourth grader, and daughter, Emily, a third grader, attended their new school, North Texas Collegiate Academy. Aiden loved math, and Emily's favorite subject was science. Aiden and Emily enjoyed sharing family activities with mom, such as reading, walking, and rollerblading. So when Laura started providing after-school care and assistance with classes at a karate school, Aiden and Emily joined as well. After five years, Aiden earned his black belt, and Emily earned her blue belt. Then the COVID-19 pandemic hit. And definitely after spring break, no one was expecting for school to not continue at all. So having to find ways to help them with school and still work and so it affected a lot. Um, my kids were able to understand and quickly adhere to, oh, you can't be close to your friends. You have to call them on the phone or you have to talk to them on the computer. Your classes are going to be on the computer. Even though we're at home, you're still going to have to do your work. Um, we got into a routine once the schedules for the school actually got out. And within about a week, they were able to do their work pretty much on their own. I was there, of course, to, if they needed help. But for the most part, they were able to do their work. I was Unfortunately, COVID-19 also affected Laura's work. Because I work at a daycare hours got cut because kids weren't coming because parents weren't working and I was able to do work um, the few hours, about three to five hours a day. This reduced Laura's income by 30 to 60 percent daily depending on available hours. Raising her two children as a single parent, Laura now found it challenging to make ends meet. To make matters worse, not only was there a drop in pay, but also the cost of living was increasing as well. The rent started becoming too much, and as the rent came due, Laura was concerned that her dream of becoming a homeowner might just be that, only a dream. I've always wanted to be a homeowner, but most homes you have to have 
20% down yeah. and the 30,000 if you're lucky at the cheapest mm -hmm. for a three bedroom and that's just not really possible for us really a lot of people but especially single parents mm -hmm. they'd have to work three or four jobs to be able to get the down payment Laura was trying to find a way to keep her dream alive when she found Habitat for Humanity of Collin County. Um, originally, I was living in Plano in an apartment with my two children, mm -hmm. and the rent started becoming too much, and um, I had been looking at different websites, and I found Habitat, and their application um, waitlist had actually come up, so I applied, and um, Habitat they work with your pay and they're able to go off of what you make to find out how much you'll be make paying each month and that was really helpful because i knew what i was going to be paying and it's not going to change there's no interest mm -hmm. it's in the income and i'm able to still be able to save and be able to do different um, events with my kids Actually, before I even got accepted, there was a medication here in McKinney. And I took my kids to, because I hadn't ever been inside a house at home. So I wanted to see what it was like, even though I had already put in my application and I was determined to get in. And the house was amazing. And before I got accepted into the program, I had to move to Samaritan Inn because I was not able to pay the rent anymore. Samaritan Inn is a comprehensive program for the homeless in McKinney. Laura was now homeless, but determined not to let her dream of becoming a homeowner slip away. And one of the biggest uh, things that I've learned is that just because you want something now, that's not what God taught. He taught he will give it in his time if you believe in him so the process is not short but it teaches you the patience the being able to rely on others helping others and then you will get to your goal and once you reach your goal which for most of us is to own a home you don't stop there you continue helping other people that are building homes, helping others around the neighborhood that might have an injury. You just continue helping. 